Hello, this is Long Su. The title of our research is Color to Back, Web-Based Modeling of Word Color Association with Social Cultural Context. Color brings about various emotions. For example, we feel calm or depression for blue and happy or sunny for yellow. And when combining those two colors, it evokes another feeling. We call the situation color emotion. In design and marketing field, various efforts have been tried to find a suitable color for customers' emotions. But there are still a lot of cases of relying on subjective experience and lack of evidence for objective judgment. The objective tool for helping the fields that I mentioned is color emotion research, which has been going on since 1960. Meanwhile, a lot of methods have emerged and the basis is the semantic differential method. It is a method to find the main factor with factor analysis after evaluating the given color with bipolar subject, which is the left picture. And another main research is color image scale by Kobayashi. He discovered the main factor using SD method and then completed the two-dimensional map as shown in the right picture with color projection technique. The merit of this map is that it can enable emotion and color along the warm cool and soft hard axis. Besides, there are a various research about color emotion like these photos, researchers have tried to create a splendid model to connect color toward. However, what they missed is that color perception is much more complex process. The picture is color pyramid of Manke. He argued that the process of person experiencing color works at these six models at the same time. In light of this pyramid, most color emotion studies remain in the three stages below. That's because there are so many factors to affect so that survey or color experiment cannot handle. Research on factors affecting color perception has been conducted in various ways for a long time. According to our literature review, it can be divided into four ways, which are cultural, temporal, demographic, and contextual. Lots of scholars argue that it is difficult to discuss a curate color emotion without considering these four factors. Back to talk about the objective tool for helping in design and marketing fields, there are color harmony rule based web services. Adobe Color, Color Lovers, and Paleton are the main exemplars. Their primary focus is the harmony between the given colors and they do not consider color emotion or depend on tagging of end users. The link between colors and their connotation is found in studies on creating color palettes from images. Some of them focused on the extraction of the color palette itself, such as k-means, fusisimins, clustering, histogram pack, segmentation. Some of them pay attention to the potential of an image search engine in enlisting color palettes, such as Status Approach, LSA, and LDA. But their results were confined to a single color or one proposal per search keyword and do not provide validation of their results. In this study, we extract color palettes from images returned by an image search engine for a given keyword to reflect the preferences of different groups and contexts, we choose different languages, periods, and multi-word keywords as search options. This figure is the overall framework of our system. The core parts are word space and color space. Word space allows us to explore keywords appropriate for the target design concept. And color spaces produces color palettes for the chosen keyword. One desired feature in selecting color is to freely navigate the keyword with which designers intend to express the concept. An example is the Kobayashi color image scale. But the drawback is that the expansion of the vocabulary requires reworking. We circumvented this problem using word to vac an NLP technique developed in the deep learning community. word to vac learns the patterns of word sequences by embedding words from a large number of sentences in a multi-dimensional space, so that frankly adjacent words in sentences remain close as neighboring points. 
our word to back model embedded 980,761 unique words retrieved from Wikipedia to 150 dimensional vector space. In order to navigate such large and complex data, we implemented a popular visualization technique called ESNA, which reduces high dimensional data to points in an arbitrary dimension while preserving the original proximity as much as possible. The left side figure is a visualization of the entire 980,000 words, and the red dot is the keywords of Kobayashi. The framework of the color embedding is as follows. First of all, we perceive image crawling with the given keywords. We downloaded a bunch of images from Google and Behance using Selenium and iCrawler. The number of keywords used in this study is 450 Kobayashi keywords and 270 clothing related keywords on where to use website. And we downloaded 800 to 1000 images for each final keywords. Next, we proceeded to extract colors from all images. The conventional studies often use k-means or c-means, but the disadvantage of this method is that the number of center points must be decided in advance. When extracting colors from a single image, it does not seem to be a problem, but when extracting colors from a large number of images, it is hard to determine the center point in advance because every image has different color distribution. So we operated the mean shift algorithm for extracting colors. The method can preserve colors of the small regions. After extracting the colors, we converted the RGB color to hue and tone 130 colors. There are two reasons to choose this color system. First, we have only 100 to 1000 images for each keyword, and then system is suitable to have a limit to 130 colors. Too many colors dilute the distribution which make difficult to analyze. Second one is, it is possible to compare with Kobayashi's result directly. If we are to obtain identity colors that characterize a keyword, a straightforward choice would be the most frequent ones in the curl images. This intuitive approach, however, ends up listing grayscale colors as they are prevalent in images with text symbols and scenes with shaded areas. We were inspired by the TFIDF algorithm, and so to solve this problem, TFIDF is a text mining technique to extract where it's characteristic of target documents. Based on this, this paper proposes CFITF. CF is the frequency of color I in the image of the keyword J. TF is the frequency of color I among all keywords. Regarding the search feature of the image search engine and color distribution within the image, CF was developed as follows. Function O is the penalty according to the word order of searching, which is the left side graph, and function P is the penalty considering color distribution within the image, which is the same as the Gaussian graph on the right side. This figure shows the comparison before and after using CFITF. In identity colors, we define single colors that represent a keyword, but they may or may not appear together in a single image. To construct color palettes, we need to find the subsets that emerge together in multiple images repeatedly. This requirement remarkably resembles that of word to bag in that it identifies recording word sequences in a large body of sentences. We introduce another adapt matter color to bag that capture color combinations found repeatedly among a large number of curl images. An example of the resulting color space is shown in figure. It is the two-dimensional projection of a 10-dimensional color space with TSNA for the keyword traditional wedding in Korean and Chinese. 
The size of each circle is the CFITF that represents the uniqueness of color to the keyword, and the distance between them indicates how often they appear together in the crawled images. One key observation is that their goals do not necessarily coincide. For example, non-typical grayscale colors may be located close to more typical colors. They are indeed at odds in that the user may prefer the uniqueness or adjacency of color at the cost of the other. We therefore created a new measure, identity color x, identity combination. A way to sum up these two factors that ultimately determines how likely a color is to appear in the final palette. This pyramidal was exposed to the users so that they can adjust and observe how the resulting palettes change by the relative strength. This figure is about the colors generated by the changes of A and B. After creating a color scheme, it goes through Masuda's color scheme model without immediately exporting. If the model satisfies the cr criteria, it will pass, but if it does not, a new color scheme will be, will be generated. Finally, there is representative image extraction informing what images create the color scheme. Next is evalu evaluation part. First, it is a comparison with Kobayashi's word space. The word space distrib distributed the word on, on the axis of warm, cold, and soft heart. Ours has no axis, but you can see the words are dis distributed semantically. This figure demonstrates how users can navigate the embed embedded words with keyword search functionality. It highlights the search keyword along with the words with low cosine similarity. The following are the color scheme generation and main image extraction results for each keyword. These photos are about cold, and these are about future, and these are good, and these are about natural. And this is about powerful. This picture is a comparison between Google and Behance. Google is a general search engine and Behance is a search engine that designers frankly use. From this result, we can see the difference between the public and the experts. This is a comparison using with keyword modern. And this figure illustrates the difference between having a specific contest for a keyword and not having one. In this figure, we can see the cultural differences in color schemes between Korea, China, and Japan. In this result of cultural differences between Mexico, Spain, and UK. We conducted a survey for a more objective evaluation. We compared ours with color of Kobayashi and color lovers. As a result, the colors generated by our system are spherical to those artificially produced. The comparison between experts and non-experts showed significant results, and the verification of the contextual factor was also significant. The cultural comparison of Korea, China, and Japan was significant as well, and Mexico, Spain, and UK comparison results are significant. And thank you for watching.